Let's see if I'm still recording. Yep, I sure am. That's cool. Yellow means red. And that means I get to go green, right? Yeah. Jackass wears white shoes and shorts while riding a Harley. I'll tell you, this kind of jackass doesn't make me think that. <laughs> what an idiot. He would have squid. <laughs> Who rides without hands? Oh, that doesn't make me think that. Hey, well, gotta slow down a lot. I don't want to bottom out and bust my oil pan. Or break my kickstand spring. We've all been there before. Boom, boom. Go! Ah. Hey sir, how you doing? Oh, I'm pretty good. How many of you guys uh, do clutchless shifting? I just learned how on my Harley. It's, uh, it's a lot harder than it was on my Blackbird uh, CBR 1100. Clutchless shifting was pretty easy on that. You just uh, let go of the throttle and shift up. I used it a lot when I was drag racing. But on the Harley, there you have to, you almost have to be going balls out. Um, accelerating really hard and then I'll see if I can do it when I make this turn come on baby um, yeah it's kind of tough but we'll see if I can do it practice makes perfect right if I do keep my Harley I want to start doing wheelies like uh, Big Manny and that white boy this crazy thing. Alright, second and the third, let's see. Oh, that was beautiful! It worked pretty good. And it sounds cool because there's not a lot of time in between your shifts. What's with shifting? It's cool. Is it bad for your motor? Uh, I don't think so. Bad for your transmission? Not if you do it right. Um, just like in a car or a big tractor trailer, you don't actually have to use the clutch. You can kind of float the gears, is what it's called. Actually, I think I want to go that way too. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. See ya!